This is going to be a bit of a different video. Let me give you some context. Six months ago, myself and a couple friends set out to find as many Skyblock exploits as we could in a single week. Turns out, there was a surprising amount of them. Enough for an admin to take notice of our work and reward us with our own exclusive custom item, the Game Annihilator. At first, we were only given one to share as a group, but a few months later, the other contributors got Game Annihilators of their own, currently the only four to exist on the entire server. From there, we formed a group known as the Official Player QA Team, a team focused on finding and reporting as many Skyblock exploits as we possibly could. So if your favorite item is ever disabled, I'm, uh, I'm sorry in advance. Now, I mentioned this video would be different, but I've covered Skyblock bugs on my channel in the past, so where exactly am I going with this? Well, hypothetically, what if there was an exploit that would work not only in Skyblock, but across the entire network? I'm talking about an exploit with the power to ruin every single game on Hypixel. But that's just a hypothetical, right? A few weeks ago, I got a message from my friend Treox, another skilled glitch hunter, asking if I wanted to help him look into a server crash that was giving him a bit of trouble. Now, spoiler alert, we didn't get the crash working, but that's only because I found something a little bit better. So you see, I got a bit sidetracked and started playing around with some other menus, you know, just to see if there was anything there. And that's when I stumbled upon Hypixel Replay, a feature available to all ranked players that was released all the way back in March of 2020. Essentially, this is just Replay mod built into Hypixel, so if you want to go back and view your recent games or share them with a friend or whatever, you can do that. So where exactly does this exploit come from? Did I find a way to keep items from previous replays? Maybe a way to play a game and watch the replay at the same time? Well, I'll let Pastio show you. Wait, I found a, I found a new, uh, <laughs> I found a new item. What? I found a new item. What? There's you no did? way. I did. What? Wait, I'm sharing my screen. What is it? What is it? What is it? No, it doesn't look like much, but taking that single gray die out of that menu led to the discovery of one of Hypixel's most game-breaking exploits. But I didn't realize that right away. You see, in Skyblock, there's a small community based around collecting glitched items and putting them on display in museums. Now, I come from this community, and I can say that new item discoveries like this are few and far between. So, when I uncovered something that had laid undiscovered for well over a year, I was a little bit excited. But it wouldn't take long to realize two things. One, why are we restricting ourselves to just this gray die? Certainly, if we can take this item out, what's stopping us from taking out the others? And two, this isn't specifically a skyblock menu, so could we find a way to open this in other game modes? Well, the answer to both these questions is yes. It turns out you can take any item out of this menu. The golden apple, the diamond sword, the fishing rod, but most importantly, the clothes barrier. Now, opening the replay menu is incredibly easy as well. All you have to do is, uh slash games. Now all that, paired with a method to take multiple items out at once, we were set. Let's go see what this thing could do. Oh, oh these guys have no idea. He's hopping! He's hopping! You know, I'm not gonna go in the middle of that. Even though I can just head away. You know, I'm just gonna... Nope. Mistakes were made, mistakes were made. Oh, he got banned too! That guy was hopping too! <laughs> hey man, you know, you can have that, you can have that. I'm gonna go TNT Zero. There's like mods here banning people and I'm here using a tube and they have no idea. You ready? You ready? There's actually not that much TNT. I thought it was a lot more. It's still going. Oh, that man has no idea. <laughs> Yo, Hopper got banned. Let's go celebrate. Let's go celebrate. Just, just go swoop and get some diamond gear. Do you? Wait, I'm actually dying. Wait, I can't die with this. I can't die with this. Stop running from me. Do you know what I have? I have a stack of heads. 
He's scared of me. Um, nom 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 nom. Hey. This is a drive bomb. Go, go, my child. <laughs> <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably shouldn't have done that. Just keep eating speed to heads and board. <laughs> Why are you copying? How are you the destroying him? Hurry up and despawn, holy. Yeah, it's very, very uh, quick. I thought it was 20 seconds. 20 oh, seconds. It, no, it's despawning now. There we go. So, this didn't go entirely according to plan. The idea was to encase myself in barriers at 0, zero then just chug apples in front of people. But, uh, turns out, you can't get barriers in UHC. My guess is that it's some protection against taking out the barriers from the forge, but I, I don't really know. One thing I am really upset about is the fact that we were so close to being able to spawn withers. We could easily dupe soul sand from mega walls, and the idea was to get wither skulls from vampire Z. But, for some reason, that game just didn't work with replays. Which really confuses me because of a few of the other classic games worked. You could get TKR, Paintball, and Quakecraft, but for some reason, Vamp Z just isn't supported. Which, now that I think about it, might actually be a good thing. Cause you already know, if I was able to get Wither Skulls, there'd be a <laughs> quite a bit of chaos. Anyway, moving on. The Pit. A game I'm honestly not at all familiar with. The only thing I could even possibly do here is spawn in a diamond sword and some healing to maybe help me in battle, but even then, that gear pales in comparison to the people with god sets who have the ability to one-tap me with their fists. So I was just gonna get a few sets of these menu items to keep and then I was gonna call it there. But that's when Treyox got a message from the biggest collector in Pit who had somehow found out that we had these new exclusive items. He for some reason thought that we'd just be willing to give up the method for free, and after refusing that, he started offering to trade us some of his glitched Pit items for our our replay menu items. Now, I'm not sure if you've seen any of these glitched pit items, but they're basically just vanilla Minecraft blocks that an admin dropped out of the creative menu. Compare that to ours, which have unique lore and even the ability to put any custom message we want on the housing door simply by changing our housing name. But even though our items were in a completely different world than his, it didn't stop him from trying to convince us to give him some. I remember at one point he was laughing about how we gave him enough info and he was going to go find it on his own, and then he came back a few minutes later asking for a hint. But enough about that, it's time to have some real fun. Bed Wars, a game where you fight to break the enemy team's bed while simultaneously protecting your own bed from attackers using the blocks available in the item shop. But if you remember, we have barriers, giving us an unbreakable bed defense, meaning we realistically can't lose. Anyone want to start a win streak? Also sold in the item shops are bows, which uh, are pretty expensive, but for good reason. Having the ability to attack a player from well out of their reach is nothing short of overpowered. Which is exactly why I spawned in a bow and some arrows 20 seconds into the start of the game. Oh, and uh, <laughs> I also got a fishing rod, but I'll, I'll show more on that later. Because right now we have to talk about the bed. Now, at first, this might seem harmless. I mean, what could you really do with a bed? I remember seeing a video a few years ago of an admin respawning a team by placing down a bed, but that appears to not work anymore. So I thought, what if we make a bed defense out of beds? Maybe the enemy will get confused and not know which is the real one. And, uh, I'll let you see how that went. There's, there's a team coming, there's a team coming. Where'd he go? Oh wait, they can destroy any bed. Huh? That's dumb. Wait, so does that mean- wait, I have an idea. Wait, let me kill this worker first. Can I go to a- someone's base? Place a bed, then break it? You're looking at my screen share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if it works. Oh, wait, try mining the top hat. <laughs> oh, it worked! <laughs> it works. Are you recording? I am, yeah. Oh my god. Now tell me that is not the most broken thing you've seen in this game. By placing down a bed in the enemy team's base, it just completely nullifies any defense that they have. Oh, is that an obsidian defense? Nah. Now, of course, all these other items work as well. You could create the most beautiful bed defense using the blocks from Pit, Build Battle, and CVC. Of course, you could get the Diamond Sword, the Gapple, and the TNT. Those were on the more useful end of things, seeing how they're actually sold in the item shop. Actually, I'm looking at this list now. I wonder if throwing the Snowball would spawn Silverfish, because technically it's the same item as the bed bug. I really wish I tested that. I, I have a feeling it would work, but I didn't realize it until now. 
Draw one at the it. front of the bed. Come on. One at the front of the bed. Right there. Right there. Right there. Put it. Put it. Put it. Quick. Quick. We just need one more on top of the bed. Just one more on top of the bed. Don't worry. Hey guys, do you guys want to go to the stronghold? It's that. <laughs> Yo, free Ender Eye! Um, <laughs> back into our base and just let them come down onto the island. Get him! Get him! Are you able to get everything? No. <laughs> Alright, I'm I Let's put a trap right. from middle. No no no. I put a trap from middle so if they run, they're gonna hit the barriers oh. and fall in the void. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna try Neo. I got this. Neo! Oh, oh, watch, oh. watch, 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 Oh, he's back gonna go to back, 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 back. They pearl. Oh! They pearl. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Two of them fell for it. We didn't win the game. Don't worry, I'm not that evil. I'm not going to abuse that hard. But admittedly, I did a terrible job of recording the few games that we did. But luckily, I played a bit with my friend Nightbot, who made his own video out of it. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it at the end of this video. Also, I just want to clown on him real quick. Wait, can I voice this? Okay, no, I can't. Okay. So yeah, check his video out at the end. Now, unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. And around 12 hours after originally finding the replay menu method, I partied my good friend Hasco for one last game of Bed Wars. And without telling him exactly what was happening, I joined a game. When I threw out the items, he was a bit surprised. I don't think this is at all what he expected. Now, after a few minutes of messing with players, I sacrificed our bed and handed over the method. Later that day, a game update rolled throughout the entire server, bringing an end to one of Hypixel's biggest exploits. Now when you try to take items out, it returns with an error instead. It's officially patched. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.